welcome back to another Minecraft video, episode 3 on the Village Crowd server. I wasn't really planning, it's quite late tonight, so I wasn't really going to plan. I was just uh, filling out that mine which we started in the last episode, and then I thought I'd give a little update because I have not found one. This is actually my second skeleton spawner, because as you see in my inventory, I'll play ahead, got some diamond horse armor, got some DDs, and a not travel. Really good, so. So I'll give this a little update. Um, I'll show you. Ooh, I'll take that wheat as well, and then also all the gunpowder. Because I have an idea. We'll just take all this back of. We'll set the hat, the head, because we need it. We don't need it. We want it. So yeah. Um, hopefully I can find our way back. Um. Ah, there we go. And sorry, let me just quickly move my microphone. Just make sure it doesn't make any noise. There we go. Okay, so hopefully I can find my way back. I think it's just up here and there. Left? Not that way. Yeah, this is the way. Yeah, up here on the right, it's got another one. They're all skeleton, so quite nice. But I feel like what we're going to do now is make it so... Yeah, so that's where the staircase is at the moment. So you can see we're at Y level 33. So I'm going to create this, like, going to keep this little pathway here. Um, and then if you guys did not see my single play series, we did something like this um, for a mob spawner. So where we had one of these and we just made a, a kill room for it. So we'll do that for the other one. I'm probably going to go for the same design because I do like this uh, idea of just having like an open tunnel going directly off of it. And it's perfect that it lines up with this as well. So, uh, yeah, the reason why this is here, because there's water up here. Um, but we will definitely try and get this back. I don't want to make this a mining episode. But I want to do something productive today, which will be tomorrow. Yeah. I was just trying to think what day it was. Friday today. Uh, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but yeah. So, why is this? Okay, there we go. Oh, the water source? Yeah, it is. Cool. Let's just mark this up. We'll keep this side open um, for the meantime, and as you can see, uh, it looks very linear at the moment. Okay, uh, oh guys, not the block I wanted. That's all I wanted. Um, but what I did in the last episode, if you guys can remember, when it was just a little bit everything. Oops, sorry, my mistake. Also, it gives us a chance to drop everything off up here. But we started doing this, just a very little bit of design. Just nice and it's not much, but it will just basically make this a uh, little bit of easing pattern. It's a bit more consistent, and then I'll also I'll start making holes in the roof. So for example, like here, just make it so it goes like that, and then up there as well. So just a little bit of depth like that. So it's just it's not consistent, and then we can break a hole in the wall. Just it's just something to work on off camera as well, so I can get it right. Um, Something like that, just little things so it doesn't look as consistent as it is now because right now that looks really bad. And then, of course, I can go back in up here. Do I have my slabs on me? I don't, but I can always put like one of those in and then get back with the stairs. Trust me, once this is done, it's going to look really nice. But uh, just with that little bit there, it doesn't look that nice. But once we've done it for the entire area, uh, it will look so much nicer. No, not like that. And the thing we do have to make aware of is the fact we might be hitting our heads. No? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. But yeah, just wanted to give you that little bit of update. Um, I probably won't record anything else tonight unless anything else happens. But I definitely do want to start on our mineshaft, which... So... Yeah, I think it's the mineshaft today, and the next episode, what I said I was going to do was basically when we built that the outdoor area, or started the outdoor area for our base, we um, we went ahead and basically when we were on that hill over there, oh hello cow, don't do it cow, although the house is quite nice for a first house, it's got no real depth to it and no height so what we'll do what we're gonna do is 
find out the four areas so the only one that's going to create a bit of an issue if I get back around here is that corner there but I don't think I think that's just me building it wrong yeah I think that's just me building it wrong why was I only removing that one Oh yeah, it was me just doing it wrong. Nice. Well, not nice, but go away. Um, okay, sorry, I'm a little bit long-winded. Um, yeah. There we go. Yeah, what we'll do is... Oh, that might cause a bit of a problem here. We might have to move this all one back. All depends. Or we just go from up here. Or... As long as they all fall in line, kind of, um, hmm, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll do that, nope, sorry I'm on a bit of a, on a bit of a rant at the moment, there we go, so yeah, we'll build up the house a little bit like this, and then we'll basically be able to add another floor onto it, it is very nice, but I'll do that, I'll start what kind of size I want the roof. Come back to you guys. Okay, guys. So it's the next day. It's uh yeah, like I said, it's the next day. So uh, I haven't. I've been playing a bit on the server, but I've been playing a bit of a uh, Final Fantasy as well. You guys can play that great game. It takes a lot of hours though. Uh, but last uh yeah, last night or this morning, I was able to finish the house. I was able to put an extra two floors in, so you can see we've got a bit more depth on it now. So it looks a lot nicer than what it was. I need to... It's still really bad, if I had to be honest. But, um, but yeah, so that's what the house looks like now. So it's a lot better than what it was before. But, yeah. So I will go up and show it to you guys. Let me quickly get back up. I need to actually get a proper... I might have to remove this because what I wanted... I also started just to put a little design down there. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Hmm, we might have to work on that one again. But for this, this is definitely a, a finished product for now. Uh, I haven't done any interior stuff yet, so we've all got basically just empty rooms. And then up here, it's going to be our Elytra launch platform. So that's what this is doing here. Uh, but as you can see, we can just do have a little balcony up here. This is going to be our main bedroom up um, on this floor. This is going to be uh, smeltery up here. Um... I was thinking about putting an AFK fish farm somewhere. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Might put it on that floor uh, and then just make a wall here. Um, and then have this bit so we have so we know we're safe, basically. Put an iron door in so basically know what we're doing. But yeah, so that's the update on the house. It's definitely finished. Um, I definitely do like the way how the windows look. Um, haven't built in Minecraft in ages, so... My building skills are a bit rusty. I might have to replace that bit up there with a bit of stone brick because uh, we've got nothing else. And we might actually uh, have some. Let's have a quick look. Do we have any? We do. Perfect. Uh, and then we want... God damn. I need to put a torch. I'll just have that. Okay, yeah. And then put that in there. Perfect. There we go. Let's, uh, let's just replace this and we'll see how it looks. Um, I'll probably do a bit of a... Oh yeah, that's another thing I did. Instead of putting stairs along the top, I decided to keep it as whole blocks. Not because I'm lazy, but because I like the way how it looked. Um, let me get to a, an appropriate position. I'll just show you guys how it looks. <clears throat> so yeah, um, we got that along the edge, and then you just got the full blocks. It, def it just basically gives it a little bit more depth. Um, decided, let's put, wait. Perfect. I do actually have the slabs on me. Uh, decided to go out one again on the air, on the corners, so we had like a just a square on the top without no funky edges. Uh, I could have done it the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. So let's just, just so it doesn't mess with me. Let's just go up here and oh, break this one and up here as well. Um, we'll go around because I don't really want to destroy any of the. Yeah, um, so as you can remember from last night, 
we were able to find a mob spawn. We were able to find two, actually. And so that is very nice. Um, but yeah, so... What my... I, ooh, hello. That was a bit of a weird, funky lag. Yeah, what I was doing with the... There we go. A lot nicer. Yeah. Um, I will replace that entire area up there with that one and that one with... Oh, they're different. Did I do that on purpose? I hope so. Wait. Yes, I did. Okay, yeah. So we'll just replace that with stone. Do I want it with stone? No, let's not do stone. Let's keep it how it is. I like how it is. And my pickaxe just died. That's the problem with keeping iron stuff because... Yeah. Anyway. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over to my... Oh, yeah, put it in my imagery. Um, very nice. What I'm going to do now is go back to my, one of my older videos where I did the Minecraft uh, fish farm tutorial, which I'm going to link in the description and put it in the eye thing. Uh, and also just basically have it like this. So we can have the fish farm there. The only thing about a fish farm is if you watch a tutorial, no. Uh, let's just put in a quick wall as well. What do we want the wall to be? So get some blocks. Hmm. Where are my blocks? Sorry, my inventory is also a mess again, as always. And all my chests are. It doesn't take it takes quite a while for me to get a clean inventory though, so sorry if it bugs you. <laughs> yeah, let's just put this in. This wasn't gonna be anything. The reason why that is there. I don't like how the way how that looks. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, the reason why this is here is because that's there. So I didn't like the way how that looked. So that is why that's there. It's just like a little side table. To be fair, we don't really need one. I'm sure my, my house is nice and clean and tidy. But yeah, so that's how the house is looking. I'm going to go back down to the bottom now down to the mine, finish that off, um, and then, oh wait, what, my pickaxe didn't break? What? Okay, yeah, fine, I, that's fine. But yeah, so you see how that looks at the moment, I really don't like the way how that looks. I might, hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna try out an idea and hopefully it works. Okay, so this is what I've got an idea for, is the fact that, okay, so what we do is, okay, top half looks really bad, so we'll get back into that in a bit. However, the bottom half is looking pretty good in my opinion. Basically, what the idea is, <clears throat> what I did was with these saplings and bone meal, um, was do two trees, pretty much got to the top i don't want to break the bridge um and now what i'm gonna do is basically build up around it in a spiral sort of uh, way so it's gonna look really nice uh just need to work on it need to get some more wood first of all um which is probably something i'm gonna do off camera i do a little bit more actual building of it on camera but the basic two by two in the middle is gonna stay but once i get to the top we should be able to basically build it up so it's like a giant Deku tree and then put vines on it just a little bit and then stop that anyway <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that now because I don't really it's gonna be really tedious because I have to get a lot of wood more wood than I've actually got oh wait I had another stack hmm anyway I still need to get slabs and stuff I mean I've got I can make it now oh actually okay let's just see how this looks uh it's all gonna be this dark oak because oh, I did have slabs on me but yeah it's just things like like that, just give it a little bit more depth. And probably put one over here. And I suppose we could technically think about walking up around it, maybe? It would be a little bit of like a jump parkour thing, but I can definitely see that working. <clears throat> anyway, if I do work on it, it'll be off camera because it'll be a lot of trial and error. Uh, but right now, all I'm going to do is finish off my mine. Because it's definitely something that I want to get sorted so I can start getting some diamonds and some better armor. Um, I think, in the meantime, what I'm going to do, instead of doing this, like, circle, uh, I'm going to get down to Y10. And then... J10. 
just strip mine and then try and get some diamonds and get back to you guys when I do because until I get diamonds, this is going to be such a long process to just like constantly. Oh, and that, now my pickaxe died. Okay, yeah. But I'm going to keep this bit. I'm going to basically. So on this level here, let me just quickly. Yo, just break all this. I just. Yeah. Have that. And then from this level, break that level and have this as a little area. So this will go straight down to there. So you can see the mob spawner there. And then, basically, we're going to continue with the mine going downwards. Yeah, I will be back once I've done that. Alright, guys. So, just for I'll give a little update. I've got down to the correct level where I wanted to get. And as you can see, we've already hit diamonds. That is a, a really good start to it for us. Um, probably don't know how I'm going to do this mine shaft. I kind of want to have it. So, we've got blocks there. Hmm, because if I want to do it as efficient as possible, I would be, um, I would have it next one here, but what I want to do is have it so the next one starts along at this point, so it would be here, which is horribly inefficient, and I can never recommend anyone to do it, but as I'm not going for efficiency, and I don't really, I can grind out mine shafting and like just strip mining as long as possible so <clears throat> sorry excuse me um i don't really mind that and then we'll probably go like do in or something and then got stone bricks like that and then just put the torch on there how does that look yeah not bad um and then of course we'll work something along the top and then it looks quite nice but right now what we're going to do is, of course, mine out these diamonds because just for there we go. Perfect. We got the achievement as well. Very nice. So not a bad little start to the mine shaft. Um, already starting on six diamonds. So, yeah, not that bad. Uh, if I find anything else, I will get back to you guys. But for right now, that is it. And then so I don't really miss out that much. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably have to make. Oh, actually saying that I can make a diamond pickaxe now, can't I? Got the sticks in here and then got my little workbench as well. Make the diamond pickaxe. Ooh. Very nice. But yeah, I will uh I'll get back to you guys once I have found something else. So, hopefully actually. Uh but yeah. So not a bad start. Hopefully I can find something else. Um So yeah. Oh, there we go. The the rest of this episode. I'm not really sure how long this video is at the moment. I might have to do a bit of editing. Uh but right now. A decent length where I like it. So, not, I've done quite a bit, but it's mainly been off camera. Uh, so, not really the most exciting thing to watch. But, oh, okay. Good thing I kept on recording. Um, let's see how many we get from this one. Of course, we don't have fortune, so silk touch is not that we can actually uh, get these anymore and we're up to 11 so really not that bad uh also found some redstone and such so not really that bad of a start hopefully we can maybe get a never portal going for this episode i think that'd be quite nice just uh just something else going like oh, I, there we go just something else going you know not very much just um and we also need to think of a place to put it because we put it we could put it down on our island but um I'm not really 100% sure where I want to put it yet, but really not that bad as a start. With this whole decorating of the mine shaft, um, I can probably do, think about starting it now because I do actually have like a diamond pickaxe, which was uh, the main thing that was starting me up before for not doing it. But this is the idea of it, it's just to like chisel away at it. Um, might have to redo this opening as well so it's less uh, artificial. But for right now, that's definitely going to be looking very nice. Yeah, so you see, this is what I was doing here. Just little bits as well. And then, of course, eventually we're going to have to work on that. Also, I want to do the fish farm this episode. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll find how long this episode is. Um, and then we'll plan and do stuff around that. I might have to call it an episode here. I'm not so sure. Uh, if I do, I'll probably do a little cut in. Just saying, like, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'll get back to you with how. Yeah. See you guys in a bit. 
Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching. I think I'm gonna the reason I got the screen on instead of like the Minecraft screen is because I think I'm gonna end the the video there. Uh really good episode. I really did enjoy making this one. The the way the house turned out was really nice. Uh we need to start working on some other stuff though. Like we do need to connect our base to the main hub, which we once we do that, hopefully it will be quite nice. So yeah, in the next episode, hopefully the plan of the episode will be making the fish farm, get a bit of a AFK session grinding in there, and as well as also getting some obsidian and linking it to the rest of the veterans portals. Uh, hopefully we've got no one built near us, so we don't have to do our nether portal really complicated and out the way. So yeah, we also need to make a, a room or a house for the nether portal. I was thinking maybe we could do it for the entrance of the mine but i really don't know to be honest uh but yeah if you guys did like this video remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode peace